G'day, my name is Mark, and my table saw just shit itself. Oh, didn't think I'd be using this again. With the table saw out of action, I thought I'd make a quick video on how I actually started out making hall tables. Now, I wanted to make this video anyway, the table saw shitting itself has bumped it up the list. I had the basic power tools, circular saw, router, a couple of drills, belt sander, sliding miter saw. The goal here is to see how long this table actually takes me and how much pallet punter cashiola I can make. But just remember, this is a hobby slash side hustle and I am pretty poor at valuing my own time when it comes to selling my actual products. Through the video, I'll throw up a few rando times of how long it took me to do certain tasks throughout the build. Uh, so you can start to figure out how long this might take you for real. And then I'll give you my best guesstimation. That means I'm gonna pluck it out of my freckle. As you make more and more items, you're going to get more time efficient as you go. You get better at things, you learn, you have jigs and processes sorted and streamlined. Just remember, it does not happen overnight. Investing back into yourself is going to be the key to productivity. Like getting one of these pneumatic denailers. It shoots the nails out. I do like to use as much of the pallet as possible because you know it's hard yakka. Except these blocks. I never use those. Who wants to watch a video about that? So out we go outside. This is basically the back to basics. We don't have a table saw, so we need to put a straight edge on. This straightening jig is going to get you in the game on day one. Very easy to make. I made mine out of pallets. I've got 20 pallet slats here that I've put one straight edge on outside with the day one straightening jig. I've got one nice flat side for the glue up and this pretty dodgy side, which I'm not too concerned about. It just means a couple of extra passes with the router. Doing that inside in the shade, probably more fun than doing it outside in the heat. Prepare the pallet slabs as best you can with the tools that you have. Try for a nice clean bond, but don't stress too much. Modern glue is a magical thing. Alrighty, let's crack on with the glue up. I'm getting on with the randomization. Just making sure I've got a nice variation of the two types of pallets as I stack them up on my clamps. I wanna make sure they're flipped over. That one straight edge I got, that is gonna make sure my glue up goes as best as possible. Get that on the underside against the clamps. So when we clamp up, we at least know one side is gonna be nice and flat. So I need to whip up a router sled in uh, lieu of a thicknesser. It's just a board, a couple of pieces of timber, and I like to use this angle steel, a couple of screws, voila, router sled. And this is me showing you how to cut a piece of timber without a miter saw, which you probably just want to go and buy a miter saw because they are super versatile. All right, back outside, it's hot. More sanding, more straightening, more gluing. As we produce some timber, that we need to make up this basic frame for this very basic hallway table. I've always wanted to edit in a cheesy clamp removal. I'd rather watch other punters like this dude, the Grant Alexander do it. Okay, for today's hello dickhead moment, make sure that your sled is taller than your slab. Dickhead. I think this has shit the gear too, so I'm gonna start this with a palm router. If I can get the slab made, hopefully make some cash, then I'm gonna have to buy one of these. Then I'll have to make another table to make up that lost money to put into the pool of money that I need for the table saw. This shit happens, but you just gotta make more tables, basically. Using a router to flatten a slab, it is dusty, it's messy, shit goes everywhere. Uh, and it's a fair whack of physical effort. However, it is a great way to produce a flat, slabby timber thing, make more tables, make more cash, so you can then one day move on and potentially buy a better machine like a thicknesser. We've got the top side, or the good side, still got a heap of voids, that's okay. And then the bottom side is the shit side, 
However, I've just taken enough off to have a level surface, but as long as the front edges and most of it is pretty flat, it's gonna let me attach a frame nice and square. And I didn't have to spend a lot of time flattening the bottom. I'm gonna give it a smash with the belt sander now. I had to buy a new one. That hurt, but I will not let you fly off the bench. I promise that I will not sand your power cord this time. Now what I'm going for is very simple half flat joints. I'm using the miter saw, as you can see here, knock those out, clean them up with the chisel. What that'll let me do is create a nice gluing surface, check square. Uh, I'll then just gonna use glue and screws. I can hide some of those screws in behind other joints. Uh, I'm not too concerned with screw holes at all because I know that I'm gonna fill them with a bit of putty. Check square, check square, carry on. Paint over them, happy days. Simple joinery, glue, screws, and some paint to hide the less aesthetically pleasing features. So here it is, a basic hallway table with a nice pallet wood slap top sitting on a white washed pine frame. This is my most sellable combination. I'm gonna throw this thing on Facebook Marketplace and my pages. I'm gonna try and sell it for 300 bucks. It is a very simple table. Now this whole project uh, took me what I like to call three shed days of a couple of hours each. So no more than six hours total, which included making all the jigs. Wrong side. It included filming, decking around as usual. So I would guesstimate that the project probably took me only about four hours. If you happen to make two of these at the same time, everything is gonna be streamlined and the average of that build time is gonna come right down and therefore you're gonna be getting more for yourself per hour. But that part is up to you to decide how much you wanna make. Alrighty, so here is my next video or my previous video. The biggest way that you can help me is by binge watching my channel. Catch you later.